Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Craig Nolan. Thanks for joining us. Buenas noches. Soy Daniel Pineda. And my name is Adele Quo with my mascot, Gigi. 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 <laughs> what happened to the other little guy? Oh, Joe will be back. Don't oh, worry. Be um, back. I'm okay. sorry that you missed <laughs> I'm him. I'm glad he'll be back. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, great. Joe. Here we go with another show, another copy edition of the Arlington Weekly News for uh, somewhere around the middle of August 2014. Humid August, right? How oh, can that be? Cool. News it's and Community cool, yeah. Bulletin Board, uh, Adele is here with... It's, it's easy being green. green. Even for bats. Even for bats, yeah. Don't uh, give it away. CBB. <laughs> Amit, we're starting a new segment here with uh, Amit and a little bit of yoga. Have we done Amit before? I don't no. know. Anyway, Amit's going to be here rich First in his time. reviews. And then news for seniors. And then an interview. Rich is doing an interview with uh, Amy <coughs> from the Fair Board. That's our show. But before we begin, a social media reminder. Absolutely, Craig. Uh, you can watch the Arlington Weekly News on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News and the number one. And you can also visit us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash Arlington Weekly News. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Well, here we go. Uh, a few technical difficulties tonight. So everything off the hard copy. Breaking news. Same-sex marriages licenses uh, may be available in Arlington within the next week. In July, the 4th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Richmond ruled that Virginia's ban on same-sex marriages is unconstitutional. On Wednesday, August 13, the court decided not to delay its ruling to strike down Virginia's same-sex marriage ban. This means that unless the U.S. Supreme Court intervenes, Arlington's clerk of the Circuit Court will be able to issue same-sex marriage licenses beginning Wednesday, August 20th. Stay tuned for that. Okay, Daniel. Absolutely, Craig. Well, in other legal news, Uber and Lyft, the smartphone-based taxi services, uh, can now legally run in Arlington. According to Governor uh, Terry McAuliffe and Attorney General Mark Herring, Virginia reached an agreement with the companies and others like them, allowing them to uh, operate with a temporary legal framework. Uh, Arlington County Board Chair Jay Fazette noted that the Department of Motor Vehicles is continuing to investigate uh, Uber and Lyft services and develop a long-term legislative solution at the request of the General Assembly. The study is scheduled to be completed by 2015's legislative session. Craig. All right, Daniel, in uh, other Arlington taxi news, Arlington Red Top Cab launched Red Select last week. Uh, the new service is meant to fill the economic space between a taxi and a sedan. A, bu a boutique service uh, is different than a regular taxi cab and less expensive than ordering a, like a Lincoln Town car. Uh, the pilot phase launched in June with a handful of black Ford Fusions and with trained and vetted drivers. Uh, the reservation only service costs three dollars per ride and an additional two fifty per mile with no fees for luggage or extra people. It currently operates between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. To request a red select car, you can call them at 703, and then it's all sevens after that, 777-7777. Uh, an app for the service is also in development. Daniel. Well, last uh, New Year's Eve, three men robbed the Wells Fargo Bank on Columbia Pike. The men caught... Uh, the men were caught and two have been convicted in federal court. That uh, James McNeil, 63, of Hyattsville, Maryland, and Alfonso Studdard, 59, of Fort Heights, Maryland, were convicted of armed uh, bank robbery, conspiracy to commit bank robbery, and brandishing uh, a firearm during a crime violence. Studdard was also convicted in connection with two other D.C. area bank robberies. Studdard is facing life sentences because of a prior conviction while McNear uh, is facing up to life in prison with a mandatory of seven years. The men will be sentenced on November the 7th. All right, Daniel, and uh, other news now. For the eighth year, Arlington Public Schools Ward Language Development, I'm sorry, World Language Development Department ran the federally funded Star Talk program. Uh, in July, 50 students from 6th through 8th grades completed three weeks of learning Arabic and Chinese language and culture. On the last day, the program hosted a market day where students tested, tasted rather, Chinese and Egyptian food and demonstrated their new skills for their families through exhibits, songs, and plays. Congratulations to those students. To learn more about the program, visit Start Talk dot umd dot edu or also this website triple w dot apsva dot us page slash 
2, 1, 3, 4. Daniel. Greg, right. speaking of school students, uh, the first uh, day of school for Arlington Public School K through 12 students is Tuesday, that's September the 2nd. The first day of school for pre K special education VPI students is on September the 3rd. All right, Daniel, and uh, we'll be back with our uh, more news in CBB file right after we hear from Adele. And it's, it's easy being green, green, even for bats. That's right, <laughs> and Adele. we welcome Gigi, Gigi as our the mascot bat. for It's Easy Being Green, going batty on August 16th. I say bats, and you say creepy. Mm -hmm. Centuries of myths and misinformation still generate needless fears. Bat populations are declining almost everywhere around the world, often because of disappearing habitat. Why care about our friends, the bats? Bats consume huge quantities of insects, including some of the most damaging agricultural pests, as well as mosquitoes. Some bats can consume up to 3,000 insects in one night. Though many people are afraid of bats, there's really nothing to fear. Bats have no interest in people, and they tend to keep their distance. They are rarely seen because they are nocturnal. The mosquito is far more likely to bite and cause problems for people. So as an environmentally conscious gardener and designer, if you're interested in a natural and safe means of controlling pesky insects, invite bats to nest near your home by buying or making your own bat house. Yes, you heard me correctly. Bat houses can be just as interesting and every bit as important to a well-balanced garden as bird houses. Bats will naturally keep your yard bug free and of uh, mosquitoes, beetles, wasps, and moths. So get rid of your spooky misconceptions about bats and connect your family with nature and get batty with the Ecoactive Annual Bat Festival at Golf Branch Nature Center this coming Saturday, August 16th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you like a wild night to life, live bat shows will be presented by Leslie Sturgis, director of the nonprofit Save Lucy, a little brown bat. It was established to protect and conserve bats in this region. Leslie specializes in bat rehabilitation and will be educating the public about these mysterious creatures at Batfest. Register children two and over and the adults for Batfest. Children under 14 must register with an accompanying adult. It's $8 per person, and you can register online at www.registration.arlingtonva.us, or you can call the old-fashioned way, 703-228-4747. And for more information on BatFest, visit www.parks.arlingtonva.us, and you, again, can always call 703-228-4747. 3403. And remember, it's easy being green, enjoying all things batty at Batfest, Arlington on August 16th. Easy being green, even for bats. That's right. Even I hope to bats. see you there. Even for Gigi. Well, that's even good. I like it that they eat so Gigi many mosquitoes. That's a, good, that's a good thing. That's a great thing. That's a great thing. Beautiful. All right. Thanks, Adele. Save we appreciate it. Bye. Here we go now, as promised, with our uh, CBB, your community bulletin board file. Uh, in August and September, every Thursday in Crystal City, it's Food Truck Thursday. Between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., food trucks will visit the Crystal City Drive parking lot between 18th and 20th Streets. Individual truck schedules might change, so be sure to follow your favorites online. You can visit www.crystalcity.org slash do slash food truck Thursdays 5 for more details. Daniel. Well, Crystal City's final two in-flight crystal screen movies are coming up. On Monday, that's August the 18th, you can watch 2012's thriller Flight. It stars Denzel Washington as an airline pilot who heroically saves all of his passengers after his airliner malfunctions. However, a subsequent investigation reveals some troubling information. Craig. All right, Daniel. Then on Monday, August 25, you can watch... Snakes on a Plane, that's from 2006. 
Samuel L. Jackson stars as an FBI agent accompanying a witness who will testify against the mob. But their plane is rigged with snakes. The free movie uh, begins rain or shine at sundown near Crystal City Metro. Visit crystalcity.org slash do slash crystal city screen in flight to learn more. Daniel. Well, Craig, listen to Brazilian jazz musician Rose Morez uh, on Friday. That's August the 15th at 8 p.m. Morez was born to a musical family in southern Brazil and has toured throughout Brazil and the United States. You can listen to her music at rosamorezmusic.com. All right, and uh, for music a little closer to home, Andrew Acosta will play Acoustic Americana on Saturday, August 6th at 8 in the evening. Acosta's repertoire ranges from traditional roots, American roots music, uh, to new old-time string band. Acosta and his Arlington-based band are regulars in indoor venues all around D.C. To learn more, visit the website www.andrewacosta.com. Dot com. Daniel. And Craig, finally, back by popular demand, hip-hop jazz artist Rico Amaro returns to Lubber Run. That's on Sunday, August the 17th at 6 p.m. That's our CBB file, and we'll be back with Rich and his reviews right after we hear from Amit Brambat and Yoga. Here's Amit. Hello, everyone. I'm Amit, and this is Arlington Yogathon. Today we are going to practice a breathing exercise or pranayama as it is called in India. This exercise is called Kapalabhati. It is very simple to perform and it can be done anywhere, anytime. However, it is recommended that you perform it with an empty stomach in a comfortably seated position. Performing this is done by exhaling forcefully and inhaling passively. So it should be done with a correct posture and you must pay attention to and be mindful of the practice. So this is how it is done. You exhale forcefully and inhale passively and uh, there it goes. <laughs> inhale deep breath. Exhale, inhale the breath, retain and exhale, inhale and exhale. This pranayama should be performed in three sets gradually increase to 100 with intervals of about 15 seconds with deep breaths. This practice cleans air passage, lungs and sinuses, which helps prevent illness and allergies. Kapalabhati pranayama also helps reduce abdominal fat, fight obesity, tone abdominal muscles and strengthen the core. It also reduces stress and emotional debris. It can also aid patients with issues such as diabetes, asthma and blood pressure. One must be very careful while performing this and should not overdo this exercise. Otherwise, this could give a harmful effect. You should be careful or avoid doing this pranayama if you are experiencing any discomfort or are pregnant, have high blood pressure, hernia or heart disease. Thank you for joining me at Arlington Yogathon. See you next time. Namaste. All right, thanks, Amit, our Thank former you, Amit. Camera One operator over here. A little yoga for you, yoga, yoga fans. He has great there. segments, yeah. And uh, we'll have some more of that later on from Amit. Okay, uh, moving right along now, as promised, here's Rich Misabni and his reviews. Hey, Rich. Hey, thank you. Gold you know, medal. Some, I got the gold medal here for uh, running in 500 meters. And uh, the Northern Virginia Senior Olympics is going to have their uh, medal things, uh, a lot of people, September 13th through the 24th in various locations in Northern Virginia. Of course, Thomas Jefferson over there on Glebe Road, but other places too. And the way to find out, you can look on their website, www.nvso.us. Uh, it's on the screen. And it's from September, as I say, 13 to the 24. And the phone number, if you want to call, it's 703-228-4721. Maybe you can, be, you can become a contestant. 
There's a lot of things. You don't have to do all the running and everything like that. Uh, but it, it's great to, to know about this. Um, okay, uh, another place you should know about is Virginia Ballet Company. Uh, I'm crazy about these people. Uh, they do their stuff out in Annandale at the Northern Virginia campus over there, you know. It's, uh, they just recently did one of the things they do every year. They, it's just magnificent, called Precedence 2014. And they have, I don't know, maybe 14, 16 different acts. It's just wonderful. But you, you might want to learn about the Virginia Ballet Company. And they have a school there. There's little kiddies and there's old coots like me who are taking classes there. And their phone number of the place is 703-249-8227. But you can check them out under www. It's on the screen now. VirginiaBalletCompany.org. They're really good people. Tish Cordova is the artistic director, and she's a wonderful gal. Uh, I know, in closing, I just want to tell you about an Indian restaurant. You about Indian. I'm going to India. Mm -hmm. There's a new classy Indian restaurant in southwest D.C. at 1101 4th Street. It's called Mar Masella Art, M-A-S-A-L-A -A -A Art. It's a brand new space just around the corner from the arena stage. Uh, my guest and I had a sampling of several specialties, including chicken tikka, South, South Indian spicy fish curry uh, uh, in chili, coconut sauce, lamb shank curry, so many darn things. Goat cheese dumplings. Masala Art has quite a menu, and one of the best parts is that each dish has a description. Indian food is all about spices and flavor, and, uh, and hence the name, uh, that's what Marcel apparently means. Uh, the menu has appetizers, tandoori specialties, everything you want. And one of the things I like about this place so much, it's owned by a classy guy who's on the premises, Atul uh, Bola, Indian guy, of course. Uh, and the general manager's name is Jay. And uh, they have uh, a real winner on their hands. Give it a try. It's only been around there for a few weeks. But uh, they got in, they've got experience because they got a place on Wisconsin Avenue, too. Anyway, call for reservation information, 202-554-1101, or check the website. It's www.marcellaartdc.com. It's, it's worth to get to know these people. Thanks very much. That's it for tonight. Okay, Thank you, Rich. good stuff, Rich. Goat cheese dumplings. Yeah, nice. Sounds pretty good. Masala yeah. arts. That's yeah. what it seems like All right, appreciate restaurant. it. Thanks, Rich. Okay, as promised, now our news for seniors file. Here we go. 22202 Neighbors United has existed since August 2013 with the goal of enabling seniors to remain in their homes as long as they can. The group was particularly focused on seniors living in the zip code area, 22202. For more information, uh, that will be provided Wednesday, August 20th at 1130 in the morning. I'm sorry, 1130 p.m. Well, we're not sure. 1130 at Aurora Hills. <laughs> 1130 is pretty late for some of seniors. Aurora Hills Senior Center. Number 703-228-5722. Daniel. Well, Craig, Jennifer Souls, a naturalist from Gulf Ranch Nature Center, is presenting a special program of uh, staggering uh, uh, for seniors. It will be on Tuesday, that's August the 19th at 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at the Walter Reed Senior Center. Uh, Souls will discuss constellations, special stars, and the best time uh, to star days. For more information and to register, give them a call at 703-228-0955. All right, and heads up for you gardeners. Master Gardener Carol Kilroy is conducting a program on fall gardening and when to plant lettuce and other vegetables. That's coming up on Monday, August 25, one thirty in the afternoon at Aurora Hills Senior Center. She'll also explain how to take care of cool weather plants and how to protect them in extreme weather conditions. For more information and to register for this FRWE free program, call Aurora Hills, 703-228-5722. <laughs> Daniel. Seems like a tongue twister. Aurora. 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 Well, senior uh, specialist Nancy Connors um, is presenting a program about donating one's body to medical science. She will share information from a local medical school about the donation process. This free program will be on Friday, that's August the 22nd, at 11 a.m. at the Walter Reed Senior Center. 
Call them at 703-228-0955 to register and it will repeat at 1 p.m. at the Culpeper Garden Senior Center. Call them at 703-228-4403. All right, Daniel. And finally, in our news for seniors file, both Lee Senior Center and Arlington Mill Senior Centers are collecting school supplies for elementary school students. Donations are being accepted through August 25. Some of the supplies needed are number two pencils, colored pencils, glue sticks, scissors, spiral notebooks, two packet folders, and those familiar black and white composition notebooks. For more information and a complete list, Call Lee Senior Center, 703-228-0555 or Arlington Mill at 703-228-7369. And as always, thanks to Judy Misabney of OSAP for helping us out Thank and you, sending us these announcements. We appreciate it, Judy. We'll be back uh, with a quick bye-bye if we have time right after we hear from Rich and his guest. Here's Rich. Hello, this is Rich Masabney. I'm with Amy Doan. She is the chairperson of the Arlington County Fair, August 6th to the 10th, 2014. Uh, thanks so much, Amy, for coming by. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. I want to ask you, uh, it's a great fair. I mean, I've been coming here every year for 30 years. And you say it's been 38 years? 38 years we've been we've been doing this. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you can look in the book, but I... I I'd like you to name some of the booths that we have here. Yeah, well, we certainly appreciate having the Arlington Independent Media booth. Um, we've also got civic organizations such as the WNL Alumni Group. We've also got arts and crafters. We've got leather arts, um, some jewelry vendors. We've got uh, some home improvement companies here. So there's a lot of different um, variety of things, anything you might need. And then you've got wonderful stuff going on outside. Yeah, we've got entertainment from the Harlem Wizards. We've got Cows and Corn, which is new this year. You can watch a milking demonstration. Uh, there's the, the, you know, Arlington famous pig races that we have here every year. We love having them and bringing them back. And then, of course, just the rides and games and um, the interactive stuff on the turf field. Today's Senior Day, so we're really excited to have a bunch of uh, senior activities throughout the day as well. And I want to mention that uh, it doesn't cost anything to enter, does it? That's right. The admission is free to the fair. Uh, this is one of the largest free events on the East Coast. Uh, we expect more than 60,000 people here over the week, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a busy place, but what I want to recommend to the folks w uh, watching is uh, take those shuttle buses they have here. Uh, you know, uh, it's not so easy to park now. That's right. We have some very restricted parking, um, and the neighborhood's great by letting us uh, have the fair here, so we want to honor their uh, neighborhood and, and not park in the neighborhood. But we do have four shuttles from Boston Metro near the IHOP, from Pentagon City Metro near the um, across the street from Nordstrom, and then we've got the I-66 parking garage, and then, of course, there's a shuttle coming down from Arlington Career Center. Do you have a phone number in your head or just written down somewhere that you can give us in case uh, somebody doesn't know how to use the internet, how oh, there's something in the background here. Well, give us a phone number for the Arlington County Fair. Sure, you can reach us at 703-849-7471. At 703-849-7471. Well, uh, this is just, uh, somebody give me a signal how much time we have. Oh, we have a couple of minutes, that's good. How many do you know how many of the booths that are here now are here every year? Oh, wow. I would say at least 50% have been coming back for a long time. I don't know the exact number. I wish I did. Yeah. But that much, huh? Yeah. About half? Yeah. The people that are here love it. They come back every year um, again and again, and they just really enjoy the business that they get from the Arlington residents. Now, um, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, uh, they have live entertainment here, don't they? Yes, we have uh, an outdoor stage and an indoor stage. We have over 13 groups performing outdoors over Friday tonight and then uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then in the indoor, we perform. We have performances tonight and Saturday. So we started with bingo this afternoon. Oh, great. Now, now give me an idea, like, uh, say, Saturday and Sunday. What are the hours here? Saturday, we are open outdoors from 10 to 11, and Sunday, we're open from 11 to 10. And then on the inside, we, we open just a little bit. We have our short hours are just a bit shorter. We close at nine inside. Oh. 
Um, and the food's good here. The food is fantastic. Yes. Oh, man, it's wonderful. And we have several new food vendors this year. We've got a Jamaican food vendor, um, some of the Arlington uh, local groups, Willie's Po' Boy, he brought his food truck out. I Love Thai is here. Um, and then some of your favorites. We've got the gyro vendors. We've got the fried Oreos. We've got the, you know, the, the cheese steaks and the cheese fries. We've got all of that, too. That's outside, right? Yes, that's all outdoors, and it's all along the side of our indoor vendor building. Um, but it's easy access. Well, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, there's so much here to see. And, uh, and, and a lot of it is, uh, is government things. Like, I know my wife's involved with Arlington County government and the senior citizens. And, uh, you know, you know there's, there's, it's informative. And I noticed the sheriff's department and probably other uh, security positions are open. I've got to say goodbye. They give me. This is Amy Doan. She's the chairperson of the Arlington County for Affair 2014. Rich Misabney. See you later. Good job, Rich. Thank you, Out Rich. there at the Arlington County Fair last week. It was a good time. It was had by all. It's a great fair, and uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. I like okay. it. Okay, anything to add before we go? we got to say goodbye. Cheerio. Thanks for watching That's this it. edition of the Arlington Weekly News, uh, and we'll do it all again next week. If you're there, we'll be here. Have a safe week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Cheerio. -bye. Bye.